Welcome, everybody. Rinalda and I got together today to introduce ourselves to you and to share a little bit about the Bibli's vision for the future, how we're going to support you and how we're going to teach you new skills, not just in watercolor painting, but also in your own maintaining your own health and being a better human, a healthier human. There had been some confusion about Watercolor Painting University and Bibli's Watercolor Painting. We are the same company. I have been working for Bibli's Watercolor University since 2019, I believe. And that and during that whole time, we have been the same company. We just rebranded um, under uh, guidance of a marketing company. So, um, but now we're taking a whole new, a whole new look on things and creating a whole new series of events contests, and in informative articles. Hey, Rinalda, how are you doing today? Hi. Nice to meet you all. Uh, people call me Rilu. Uh, currently, I'm in Romania, like in the Transylvania area of Romania. I've been practicing watercolor for a while now, and I've been on the internet as Riluri since oof, a long time ago, since 2008, I think. So it's been a while. Um, I do more than just watercolor. I also paint in Photoshop and Procreate. I do charcoal, I do oil pastels, I do sketching. So it's all encompassing the nice. art. I really enjoyed the paintings that you sent over your latest watercolor works. I Rinalda is located in Romania right now. Our company is located in Portland, which, which is the headquarters, but I'm also a traveling artist and I'm traveling to Mexico right now. So we're both like exploring a creativity while we're supporting you guys in an American company. And I am Mary. I am Bibli's artist in residence. Well, Rilu is Bibli's artist in residence as well, but I am the head artist in residence at Bibli's. I am the one behind all the emails and the posts that we send out. Personally, I've been a watercolor painter since I was a child. I also dabbled in different in oil painting and acrylics. I come from a long line of, of painters. My grandpa was a famous painter in Poland. He was mainly known for his oil paintings. Um, they're in some museums and stuff. And my mother is Ooh. a watercolorist in Canada and she's actually an award-winning watercolorist in in her province of British Columbia where she lives she's had her paintings on the lamps in the city or, or in Victoria where she lives okay yeah, okay yeah she designed she's known for these angel paintings I think it's important for us to touch base and and reconnect with our followers and to make sure they mm -hmm. know what we're what we're up to behind the scenes, how we're practicing, why we're practicing it, and and what are the actual results because the results are not necessarily perfect pieces that we sell. Yeah, sometimes, but the results are more like the health benefits to myself or to yourself. Those are the biggest results that we get. Absolutely. A lot of people are passionate about art and passionate about creativity, but they don't realize how beneficial to your health and your cortisol level painting can really be. Yeah, absolutely. It's about mindfulness, really. So you kind of focus on the one task at hand. You work with your hands as well, which is very, very calming. And it, it helps reduce stress levels way more than anything else. My grandpa was like, he was very, very unperturbed. It, like all the people around him were stressing out and he was always very chill and very calm. And just like, mm -hmm. you know, he had very strict rules about his studio. But other than that, he was just sort of immersed in his work and, and very chill. And so, um, I mean, I guess that's where I sort of picked up that way of managing my cortisol levels and, and really releasing that stress through because you know cortisol is what makes your belly bigger actually like, like because what, what so what what cortisol well my mother my mother is in healthcare so you know i know a lot about that stuff too i'm an herbalist okay. myself um so what what cortisol does 
is it, it releases in your body. It's a hormone that releases in your body when you're stressed. It's the fight or flight mm -hmm. or one of the fight or flight hormones, right? And when there's a lot of it in your body, a, a little extra fat gets stored everywhere throughout your body to have storage for that flight, for that runaway, for because you're preparing to run away from whatever situation, right? So when mm -hmm. we were cavemen and it was nature, it would have been the saber tooth tiger or, you know, like, you know, stampede mm -hmm. of elephants or something like that, that you were running away from. You needed the extra calories, the extra energy to run away from it, maybe for days. But the now classic we're stampede. Actually... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But now we're not running away from anything, right? But we're still stressing out as if we're afraid of reality. We're afraid of everything. Well, because I mean, of course, this our society the media and everything is promoting stress so as humans when we take in that information it shows in our bodies right and a lot mm -hmm. of ladies are worried about the belly well the first thing to do is to replace the input of the negativity or of all the programming that's that's telling you all the terrible things that are happening in the world and and create sort of an outlet like painting right that's worked for you to to manage your stress absolutely it's been one of the most important things, especially during COVID, when there wasn't much else to do. And I just started painting again. There was a big chunk of my life when I was kind of away from art. And oh, then God. with co <laughs> with COVID, it came back nice. with full force. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Exactly, exactly. So basically, that's what the Bibli's vision for for the next six months or the next year is to really bring that together. And so we can have, you know, as artists in residence, we can share our works, we can share our mm -hmm. process, we can share some articles. I wrote an article the other day about stress, is stress killing you? Well, you know, that cortisol, when it gets stored, in your body over time, it can actually affect your organs and it can kill you, not just from fat, fat accumulation, but just from, from there being this kind of like flighty energy inside your body. I don't know how to explain it. Cortisol, you can look it up. Cortisol mm -hmm. is, is, is destructive to all your systems slowly over time, especially when the high, high levels are present. Yeah, I, I was losing my hair massively while I was very stressed. So that was the first alarm bell we can call it that so I realized oh oh no it means I'm really really stressed if my hair is falling out with fistfuls absolutely benefits associated with watercolor painting for sure. example it really um, enhances your self-confidence and self-esteem because as you explore and develop your skills in watercolor you experience a sense of accomplishment as you see yourself improve, you witness your progress, you create aesthetically pleasing pieces, and you receive positive feedback from people you show your art to. And this can boost self-esteem and provide a sense of pride in your artistic abilities and allows you to feel motivated enough to continue learning. And what would you say to those people who are like chasing perfection and always creating more cortisol in their body because they're afraid that their work is not good enough, their watercolor painting is not good enough? I used to be like that. I used to think that perfection is the only thing and nothing else suffices. However, I soon learned that making anything is way more important than making the one perfect thing. So you can become a jack of all trades, master of some, instead of the one perfect thing you're very good at. It's better to know a lot of things. At you know, the medium level. Yeah. And the other mistake a lot of people are making is that they spend like 20 minutes on a painting and they're like, look, it's shit. But somebody like Michelangelo spent 36 years mm -hmm. painting one painting. Right. And, and the time and the energy and the effort put into it. And I'm sure he has sketches that were failures. And I'm sure he threw out a lot of preliminary sketches, but something created in 20 minutes is, you know, unless you're doing some cool Japanese art, it's probably not a finished painting. It's probably just like halfway there, you know? Not even. It's a sketch. It's it's a way to practice. Exactly. So expecting like a finished work within an hour or 20 minutes of effort 
is really like leading yourself down a garden path to negativity and you mm -hmm. know and the more you practice the better you get well yes yes hey check out these mushrooms i did the other day oh my gosh see oh they're so color. cute and i didn't even spend the lady that was showing the tutorial she spent like six hours on these mushrooms so mine are not as good as hers no by by long stretch because i only spent maybe an hour on this mm -hmm. but i really worked like oops you can't see it like the different colors the pinks and the yellows yeah and, yeah, yeah because you can tell not white right and mm -hmm. so so that's what i'm talking about like these mushrooms right stupid mushroom sketch it takes hours hours and i was just, yeah, just to paint two mushrooms exactly mm -hmm. but at the same time i felt so much better after painting these mushrooms like when i was finished i was just like you know refreshed yeah almost like every after. time almost like after what a swim in a river or in a lake you know <laughs> Swimming in the mushroom river. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know about the mushrooms. <laughs> Very nice. And feeling more confident in your own abilities. Maybe even the social aspect, if you want to start painting with friends. You yeah. can co-paint a piece with a friend, for example. You know, I was thinking about that. What if we were the friends? We like, are the friends. Well, we could get together one day on on Zoom or on on Facebook Live and and paint together and they could ask us questions and stuff. Oh yeah. We, could totally we can definitely do that. Let us know if you're interested in us doing that because we're totally open to that. Mhm. Mm yeah. Just painting and chatting. It's so relaxing. It's great. And then you could ask us any questions you want. So if you want to if you're interested, send an email to mary at watercolorpainting.com and here's the email address. And then we'll get back to you and we'll make that happen if enough of you guys ask for it. So, you know, mm -hmm. don't think that somebody has already asked. It's a numbers game. <laughs> if you guys want to learn more about the benefits of watercolor and of art in general, we will be putting out articles regularly. I will write an article about um, emotional benefits associated with watercolor painting. So if you're keen on learning more about the science behind it, tune in. Thank you very much for your attention today. We very much appreciate you being uh, followers of Bibli's Watercolor Painting, which used to be Watercolor Painting University. And we would love to see more of you guys in chats, in replies, and also please participate in our contest. Mm -hmm.